Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 88 from our bootcamp series. In this lecture, we will learn how to set up action text in a Rails application. So in our application, we already have two models uh, where we can add the action text uh, attribute uh, action text to field, uh, the course and the project. Okay. Uh, we also have the blog model, but I haven't created forms for uh, blogs inside the admin. If you have set up that uh, blog forms and all that so you can use for the blogs uh, model as well okay so we will use we're gonna use this for course model and you can try for project and blogs at your end okay but first i was wanted to let you know that action text does not require any attribute to be added in your model so you can define the action text attribute just like we define the attributes for the active stories however if you want to use this action text feature for any of the existing attributes then you can do this as well okay now let's visit the action text at the rails guide first from there we will see the setup step for action text so let's open the rails guide for action text here you can see that i have added the rails guide for action text so here you can find the details that what is action text that we already discussed and how this rich text editor is comparable with other HTML text editor like uh, CK editor, Summer Note, and Proala. So we, you can go according to that. Okay, so here we will copy this installation steps and then we will set up the action text into our Rails application. Okay, so here you can see the installation um, line that is run bin Rails action text install to add the yarn package and copy over the necessary migration. Okay, so whenever you will add the Rails action text in your project, it will first generate some JavaScript files and then it will create a migration to include the action text in your application. It is just like we add migrations for active record while we set up the, sorry, active storage while we set up the active storage into our Rails application. Okay, so just run this command on the terminal. So when you run this command, you can see that uh, what we uh, will get that we will get uh, the tricks and rails action text into the as a yarn package and we will get some lines appended at the application.js and a migration has been created copied from the action text to our rails application and that is for adding the action text table. Okay, and you can also see some active some templates created for store uh, for storing the attachments if we store some attachment inside the blog okay and you can see the action text css scss as well and there is something appended inside the application.js as well okay however we will we need to remove these appended lines from the application.js to admin.js because we're gonna use the action text inside the admin side okay so let's switch to rails guide again here you can see the lines that we will get inside the rails applic uh, application application.js that import tricks and import rails at the red action text okay so first copy these lines and from application.js and let's paste into admin.js okay so first open the app javascript and you can see in the application.js that uh, few lines have been added that require tricks and require action text okay so you can cut this line from there save the application.js and now paste it inside uh, admin.js okay uh, just after the bootstrap you can paste it okay save this and now let's see what are the next steps okay so here you can see that uh, text style sheet will be included together with action text style in your application.css okay but we will not going to use those style because we are working in the admin layout okay so we need those uh, action text styles in this admin.scss okay so first open assets okay and from the assets you can see that we have action text.scss so copy this content everything in this file and create a new action text file inside the admin.js okay so let's add inside the css plugins okay and here we will create a new file and name this file as action text dot css okay 
and now paste everything here and uh, you can remove this file because we don't need this file inside the assets style sheet now so let's delete this okay so now we have only single action text so we have everything set up now like we added text as a yarn package and we added the style sheet inside the admin as well okay but uh, we need to import this action text inside the admin.scss okay so let's import that now let's switch to the next step that what we need to do okay so now we gonna use this action text for the course model so let's open the course uh, model here okay and but before that let's go to the active storage because i wanted to show you something that here you can see the note that you don't have to add a content field for your message table that means we are using a rich text as a content inside the message model okay but we don't need to add this content as an attribute inside the course model okay so we will do the same thing here okay now let's write Edge, which text content save this line okay now open the forms in course form inside the admin okay because we need to change the text a normal text a normal HTML text area from rich text area okay so now you need to open the course form inside the admin okay so you can see the form here and now we need to add this content here so we will add content okay copy this paste it and replace this description by content and just make this text area as rich text area okay and now you can save this and refresh the browser okay so this error is coming because we just copied the migration after we installing the action text but we did not run the migration yet so let's run the migration first rails db migrate okay meanwhile let me show you the table that we will see okay this is the table which will be generated by the action table create table action text rich text it is a model okay however you will not see this model inside your course project okay now this migration has been generated so we can restart our browser okay so we can see some error here let me see what happens okay so the problem is that we just trying to get this action text from scss inside the plugin but uh, i think this is outside the scss okay so we need to remove this scss because this action text is directly inside the plugins okay not in scss however if you wish you can place this file inside the scss but just to get it work i am just copying this and now let's visit the browser okay so you can see that our browser is working now now let's go to the resources and open the course project okay so you can see that uh, this is the course index page and now we are at the courses form page okay so here you can see that uh, this is the name and the description attribute that we already have and now this is the form this is the tricks editor okay like uh, bold italic strike throw and link so we can format our attributes from here and you can see that this is the file attachment as well so you can attach file from here as well but this is not uh, how it's supposed to work okay because you can see that uh, some css is failing here and this is why because we have some thing we need to something we need to import something inside the action text.scss okay so let's uh, uncomment this line okay and rather than require it you need to import it okay so sorry it's css so we need to use at the right import and just take it inside the comma uh, quotes and now refresh the browser okay so it's, it's 
okay so here you can see that now this text editor is working as expected okay now what we need to do to get it work completely that uh, we need to pass the content as a permitted params inside the courses controller in admin okay so let's go to the courses controller and add the content here to the list of params okay we added here now if you want to run this okay so but before running that let's come to the terminal and make some space at the server and let's refresh this first okay now let's again make this space and get some course here let's say title and add some description here okay and now add some files okay okay let's max this description of 10 characters and say some remit text and now click on this button you can see okay you can see that the course has been created now let's see that these images has been added to active storage okay and the attachments we added okay and the action text has been stored as well like uh, insert into action text rich text and the body that we provided here description okay and there were some active storage attachments which are stored here okay but now you can see that uh, when we generated this you can see that now if i create another course okay then let's make some raw data here and let's add an attachment here okay so here you can see that this image is not resizing here okay why because we need to resize the image as per our need so first open the gem file okay and in gem file that you can see we have this gem image processing okay we need to comment this okay because this gem is needed to resize the image inside the trick center okay so now when you upload this image okay Hey, sorry when you install this uh, uncomment this image you need to run the bundle install first okay so run the bundle install and once this gem has been added to your application uh, course project or your else application then you need to try to upload images inside the tricks okay so bundle install has worked okay now let's restart the server just because we added the gem server has been restarted and now you can refresh the page and in this page if you ins uh, add multiple attachments now you can see that if you click on that okay that is still not working okay so there might be something i am missing or let me inspect this what is going to happen okay so something failed with the direct upload so uh, i need to handle that and i will do that in some other lecture okay but uh, for this lecture the main purpose was to show how to use action text so i am just skipping this part because uh, i think uh, it sometimes work and sometimes i get this error with of the direct upload so i need to uh, fix this error at my end okay and once this fix and i will make the another video for that okay so here you can see that we have the tricks editor as a action text installed now in our course project okay so you can do the same thing for other models like uh, for blogs model for projects model okay and here you can see that we use this for content as extra attribute just we did for the active storage attachments okay you can do this for description as well like you can make uh, this description as has rich text and then you can apply uh, the text editor there and that will work fine too okay so let's give this a try and accept the direct upload don't need to worry and i will be definitely uh, publishing that video as soon as possible okay but uh, for now this is all about the action text that uh, how you can use and how we can use that uh, how we can work with that okay 
so let's meet into the next lecture with rake task because in the next lecture we need to study the rake task how what are the rake task and how to write rake tasks okay so we will do that in next lecture okay but yeah but before leaving that i just wanted to show you that how you will display the uh, action text in your rails application okay so you can see that you can display your action text like this okay you can see that at the red message dot content okay so let's create some content for a course okay so let's make this some content here and let me make some content here as well okay. and let me add a small attachment here let's go to the download okay go to the stuffs and you can copy this subscribe button okay it's the gif now click on the submit okay you can see that uh, course uh, sorry course has been created and action text has been added okay now what we need to do that we need to display it uh, on show page so let's open the show page of admin blogs and at the course description let's say you can display or you can copy the same thing and you can display your course content here let's say content and make this content here okay. and save this now when you save this you can refresh this and you can see that this image is displaying here okay and this is the content that you can see okay now you may want to edit this just to let's remove this image and let's add some styles here uh, and make this as a last text so we can add say course outline okay now let's make this production will test click on the update course and you can see that the list item has been added here okay so you can see some bugs here like uh, let me click on the edit so you can see that this text editor is not uh, is limited to some area and you can see that text is going outside that okay so this is the point that we will fix okay and uh, let's do in some upcoming lectures okay so that's all for the action text now and let's meet into the next lecture with uh, reg task and till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe